Hello. Today, we've been given the challenge of coming up with a creative, delicious, and most importantly, edible <laughs> fries dish. And it's all getting a little bit heated and a bit stressy. I and need I'll... that oil. It's coming, it's coming. And Ben, the chef, is going to judge these at the end. <laughs> Shut up. Why are you doing the turn? <laughs> Boys, spuds in. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. I'm just looking at your ingredients. Let's cook. <laughs> what are we doing? So today I'll be answering the question, what happens when you combine the flavours of elotes, tacos and corn with one giant curly fry? Haven't you been making nothing but elotes for the last few weeks? I've been making my take on them. So yeah, I want to now transform that from my home cooking in to spreading that with the wide world. <laughs> Sounds very creative of you. Thank you. So essentially, I'm going to have to pipe a potato dough in a piping bag. And for that, I'm combining equal quantities of corn flour and potato starch with instant mashed potato in a two to one ratio. Adding some water, give it a mix. And that's a potato dough, a potato. Speaking of creativity, today I am taking Britain's favorite national dish, fish, and chips and turning it into fish in chips. <laughs> How's that working? I have more questions than I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Are you making a fish sandwich with a potato center? No. Okay. No. What I'm making is usually you get a lovely piece of cod or haddock and it's in a beer batter, mm -hmm. right? What if you replace that beer batter with essentially a potato roshti? What? You're making one big chip? No. With fish in the middle. No, because a roshti is what? Grated potato. Not chips. Thousands of mini chips. No, no, no. You said this was creative. You changed one letter. I've added the most important letter, I. <laughs> I've cut up my cod, covered it in tempura batter. I've grated potato. I'm going to add into that some salt, a little bit of white wine vinegar. Salt and vinegar, fish in chips, thank you very much. Uh, gonna add a little bit of potato starch. That's gonna become my batter. Roll the fish in it, fry it, see what happens. We all have had chips and one of the greatest things invented by man. This is a fries battle and both of you have said the word chips. <laughs> and today, <laughs> I'm making my favorite type of chip, chocolate chips. What? But are they actually chips or are they actually? No, they're, 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 they're chocolate chips in the shape of French fries. Barry, you need to stop listening to the little voice in your head. I like him. Yeah, and my, my first step is really simple. Make a shoe pastry, like any good chip. Is anyone confident in how their dish is gonna come out? No, by a show of hands, who's worried about the structural integrity of their dish? Oh. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing here is I'm stealing Ben April's recipe. He made shoe pastry with the same mixture I have here, and the other half was with potato. Instead, today, I'm using fries to go. Ready-made chips poured into a blender, blitzed up, and then chucked into my mix. So it is officially a chip fry. Oh, no. I didn't put the piping nozzle in. So in order to get a curly shape, I've stolen the sugar tin, covered it in greaseproof paper, and then I'm gonna try and pipe my potato around it, and then lower it into hot oil safely. Hey. I told you, I'm not confident in the structural integrity. I'm doing something similar when it comes to deep frying on baking paper, because I don't know how else I'm going to get it in or out of the fryer. But I'm not using a sugar tin. No. Well, you know, unplanned and all, I had to use what's around. Why are you looking at me? I don't know if that's right. <laughs> I'm having a crisis of confidence, so I'm doing a test run. My entire recipe's a test run. My fish and finger chip, chip and finger, 
chip, my chip and pin worked. So, I'm going with it. I've had a little bit more salt to the batter, but we're going in with the big boy. That doesn't look confident. Now I've got it, with the small one, it was really easy. I, I, the paper didn't work. I got it in there with, on the paper, but then I had to take the paper out and then I could easily turn it around with the tongs. Yeah, how'd you do that? With the big one, I'm more concerned at how that's gonna work. Well, you're in now, mate. I'm in. I think I'm gonna have to roll. Oh, nozzle. <laughs> oh, don't start I'm just saying, things. It, you're making popcorn. Yeah, I'm making charred corn, mate. I make a lot of all the time at home. <laughs> Oh, I like making Ben Ebrel's recipes for a battle that's my own. <laughs> <laughs> Barry, I'm going to need some help. Well, how am I going to help? Uh, by holding something inanimate. <laughs> what are you doing? What I need you to do is hold this and then slowly rotate it. I'm going to pipe potato oh, around it. What? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm doing... Barry, one. I just asked you to do a simple thing. I'm doing what I'm told. No. Hold, rotate. Here. Here. Hold, yeah. rotate. Yeah, but don't put your hands over. I need it like that. You know, like I demonstrated. Okay, right. I'm glad they're distracted because this is not going well. Okay, hold it, hold it, hold it. Let's. Oh my goodness, this is so hard. <laughs> this is stiff. so hard. We're going to be here a while. Oh, and the shakes don't help. I have to push it so hard. You... Go, 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 go. But... Oh yeah, it's not really sticking on the non-stick, is it? What's going to happen on the other side? Mike, are you, is it going to come keep, back round again? Keep going, Barry! I, I, <laughs> Why did you stop? I didn't, it wasn't me! Can you not talk stop. and rotate okay, at the go, same go, time? Go. I'll do this instead, ready? Go! go but Mike, gravity's going to kick in in a minute. It's oh no, on. this is not going to work! I thought it was going to be sticky like a shoe pastry. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. What about a spiral? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to rethink. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video. Subscribe if you aren't. Click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. Quick question for Dad. Yeah, man. Baking paper. Yeah. One-sided or two-sided? Uh, one-sided. One-sided, yeah. Yeah, one -sided. Is it? yeah, yeah. No, wait. Is it easy to tell the difference between the two? One's slightly more shiny than the other. Problem is, when they're covered in oil, they're both shiny. Yeah, if you've got some stick baking paper, that <laughs> would really help me. In closer inspection, I can feel the bobbles on the side that I put the fish on. That's the non-sticky, sticky bit. Mine looks more like a patisserie than Baz's. <laughs> it does. I've done my first big one. I'm not overly happy with it, so I'm going to go for a second one, see if we can get the non-stick baking paper to actually non-stick by using the non-stick side. No, no, Barry, 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 Barry! Perfect. I'm happy in my chips so far. It looks like churros, mate. Boys, you're probably going to want to see this. So he's just taking his bit. churros out the... Um, yeah, you, you can crack, crack on. I mean, first, we've got to see if I've actually... Oh, look at that. <laughs> and I'm going to put it in, it's going to fold, and then it's going to break. <laughs> That's sugar. That's sugar. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> you actually were concerned for me for a yeah. second, weren't you? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> here we go. 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 You didn't lower that. You dropped that. No, I lowered it and <laughs> Mate, then I moved my hands that away. That fits perfectly. Safely. Look at that. Well done. How are you going to get it out? I don't know. <laughs> That's horrible. You just taste your dish and say that's horrible. No, I didn't. I didn't mean. I didn't mean I was saying it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a second? I, gen I genuinely forgot we were filming for a second. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Did I tell you not to use my fish oil? <laughs> you made chocolate chip fish. Fish. It, it, it tastes a bit like a chip shop. I keep making them yeah. and think of a way that I can make them edible. Round two, different baking paper. Let's hope this works better. In the meantime, we'll make a tartar sauce and that'll make everything better. 
Oh, boys. Is it working? Ooh. Okay, so now I'm going to make a mic bodged version of um, elotes. So that's mayo and sour cream. There's only one sauce to be had with chips or fries, and that is mayonnaise. Come at me. Sour cream, instantly better. Adds that delicious vinegariness. Come away from me. <laughs> I don't know what's happened, but it looks like a... It looks like a burrito. <laughs> I've added a little bit of Cholula hot sauce into my tartar sauce, and then I'm gonna whiz it up, just to make it smooth, because you never have a smooth tartar. Now for the chocolate part of my chocolate and chips. A chocolate sauce, but I'm going for like a salted caramel chocolate sauce by using Nutella, Biscoff, and then I'm mixing some miso, Cointreau, to give it kind of a, a salty, fruity flavour as well. Oh, it's flip time. Yeah! Jamie, I added miso and contro to my chocolate sauce and it split my chocolate sauce. And now I'm just doing anything to save it. <laughs> You've got your fish and chips, now you got your fishy chips going in. Oh, this is so bad! Yeah, okay. Cream, add cream. Add cream. I don't know what he's doing or what he got wrong. So I'm just gonna tell him to keep on doing it. Ah, I'm relatively happy with that. What is that missing to become tartar sauce? Why is it so salty? I put salt in it. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Time to come clean. My original idea was to make some chips and pipe them full of some delicious chocolate sauce. They didn't come out as big or as puffy as I'd hoped, and now they're just chips. Plan B was, you know what, I'll make a delicious kind of savoury chocolate sauce with some miso, some Cointreau, with the chocolate sauce to drizzle over the top. And I made this. That didn't work. So now I'm thinking ice cream. Ice cream might save this. So I've taken the only ice cream that we have in the studio, which are two Magnums, breaking them up and sticking that in it. So now I'm just putting warm rubbish chocolate sauce in cold ice cream. Guess what's going to happen, Barry? But I'll do it anyway because I might create something magical. Ebers is going to lose his rag <laughs> when he eats yours. <laughs> the one area where I always seem to fall down is plating. So I'm going to try something a little bit different today and see if it improves. And if it doesn't, well, it's just as has always been. <laughs> oh, Barry, this is going to be great. It's not. What's he doing? This is going to be great. Jamie, what are you doing? <laughs> Jamie. Jamie, what are you doing? Are you riffing? Jamie's being creative. Oh, wow. I'm a, of... I might have a chance. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, mate. You <laughs> What are you doing? Don't be a I'm not, I'm- I'm pushing that over there if you keep on doing that. Stop it. I'm going to push it off the table <laughs> if you do that one more time because it's going over mine. Shut it's on my bum. <laughs> Fish in chips. Sorted. <laughs> so my curly fry is more of a curly fry base now, so I'm gonna layer everything on top. I've got some chipotle honey, which is unbelievable. Add a little bit of sweetness. I'm letting it down with a bit of water, and then I'm gonna glaze the bottom surface of my curly fry with that. Then topping with some charred corn. Then my sour cream mayo. Then some smoked paprika. I don't have any of that really great Mexican cheese, but we do have some feta, so I'm going to crumble that on the top and topped with coriander. There we have it. So my plan now is to go down the chips and dip, dips route. So, fondue pot, chocolate sauce, chips. I guess that'll have to do. Chocolate chips. Hello, Evers. Hello. Are you excited, open-minded, and feeling generous? <laughs> I'm excited <laughs> for what 
can only be a surprise. Well, yep. I forget that you come into this with no context to what's happened in the last hour. <laughs> Lift the first cloche. Who does this belong to? We'll find out. One long fry. Evers, what I've made you is... Oh, you're genius. Whoever's done that, it's you. I've made you fish in chips. <laughs> chip. It's a sink in a chip. It's rusty, Barry. There are thousands fish of chips. Fish in chip. I'm worried there's only one fry in a fries battle. Oh. But the fact that you've done fish in chips excites me, because play on words do. So, Evers, what I did was, it was, um, I grated the potato. And what is rusty if not thousands don't of don't mini it. fries? Don't, don't, don't kid yourself. I'm a bit confused by where, where batter meets potato and potato meets batter. The potato is the batter. My issue with it. Ooh. Oh! Is just how chewy that potato mix is. Oh no. Oh no. So I love the idea. The fish is nice and flaky. There's a beautiful colour on it. And whilst fish in chip is clever, it's very, very bouncy and chewy. Okay. Number two. Number two. <sighs> Giant and low tade curly fry. What I love about this, Mike, is that once you get an idea in your head, you're set on it. Yeah. And a Lotte's corn is you right now. Mm, it Every is. conversation it gets brought up. I love the fact that you've done a different twist on it again. Have you been invited around to his house for a Lotte's? A Lotte's, no, but apparently everyone has been. <laughs> <laughs> My friends, how many times do I have to make that clear? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Very good piping. Hmm. Great, number three. Yep. Right. That's confident. No, no <laughs> feedback. No <laughs> feedback. <laughs> what you have ended up with is a lovely, lovely, lovely golden crispy texture compared to the quite chewy texture over here. So the actual potato bit, the fries part of the fries, are very crispy. And the aloe topping is delicious. I wasn't expecting it to have that sweet honey touch. But very nice. Oh, oh, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, Lift Evers. it. Go on, Evers. Oh, dear. <laughs> Evers, in front of you, you have... So ungrateful. Chocolate chips. <laughs> Just chocolate chips, you like, you like play on words. I do, and this that's exactly that. In each of these three examples, it is the texture of the potato fry that has confused me. This one was really chewy, and yet it looked light and crispy. This one was incredibly crunchy, and yet it's got all this wet, soggy stuff on top. This one is more like shortbread. It's more cakey. I think it's very heavy. It's nice. It's not your best work. So I knew I was going to be stepping into an ultimate fry battle, and you were going to absolutely twist and play with the brief. So I knew there was going to be a sweet option. I kind of like the potato churros. We did potato donuts in Ireland all those years ago with chocolate. It can be really good. This is okay. It's probably not going to take the win today. Expected. <laughs> and I think the winner, based on a combination of texture and flavour, is that one. That's well done. really, really crunchy, which is what you want from an ultimate fry. Well, over to you. Comment down below. Let us know which one would you have picked as your winner. Also, if you're enjoying these unplanned battles, give this video a like. And if you'd like to see more, why don't you suggest some themes that we can take on in the future in the comments below.